What's up, guys? Hey, Cody Meyer coming to you with the Tackle Warehouse crew. Hey, we just got off the water for Crank Fest 2023. Hey, we are back at Brownlee Reservoir. If you guys did not see that video, make sure you guys go back and check it out. What an absolute blast. We caught them on a ton of evergreen crankbaits, Daiwa rods, Daiwa reels. Uh, just a fun time. So here's what happened. We're on Brownlee Reservoir, like I say, in Idaho, Southwest Idaho. We were out there, we caught them on jerk baits, um, all kinds of stuff. It was the end of the day. We wanted to have some fun. We started catching them on crankbaits. We said, Daniel, you know what? You are literally sitting back there holding the camera. Jump up here, get in some of this action and enjoy Crank Fest 2023. So what happened today? We we're out there on the water. We're throwing a, a variety of evergreen crankbaits. Uh, you know, including the, the CR, the 8, the CR 10. Uh, we threw a couple different versions of the CR. This is an awesome crankbait from a CR 6 to CR 16. Uh, a great crankbait. It doesn't wear you out. You could throw it. We were winding it through the water column, column hitting some rocks. Uh, actually, a lot of the fish were just suspended, coming up, blasting this deal. Really, really cool. Um, I elected to throw this today on the Daiwa Tattoo Elite. This is a new one from Patrick Walter. So it's a seven foot, six inch rod. All the crankbait rods today were from seven foot to seven foot six. So generally speaking for all crankbaits, I like something in between there, that seven foot to seven six. Today we happen to be throwing Daiwa Tattoo Elite rods. One thing in, in, that was common with all of them was the parabolic action. Uh, all the, the crankbaits we threw today were on either a 12 up to a 16 pound J4 or Samurai. Uh, this happened to be on a 12 pound test. And one thing really important when you're throwing a crankbait, again, this is gonna go through with all the crankbaits, is the right gear ratio reel. You know, I never crank on something higher than a 7.1. So I love, you know, a 6.3 up to a 7.1. So anything higher than that, you're kind of fighting the gears it makes it harder to throw that for a long time. So we threw the CR, we definitely threw the Evergreen Wild Hunch. The, this is the WH8. This was an awesome crankbait as well. We caught a bunch of fish on that. You know, we also threw the Evergreen Piccolo. This is a little PC5. This is such a cool little crankbait. We actually threw this on a spinning rod, but again, a seven foot spinning rod, very parabolic. Uh, we threw this on a little bit lighter line as well. So I said, you know, 12 to 16 pound test today, but on the spinning rod on the Piccolo, we went to an eight pound test just so we could throw it out there. But when they bit this little dude, they got it every single time. You know, with this rod here, the seven foot rod, we threw, this is a brand new reel from Daiwa. This is a Daiwa Tatula LTMQ. So this is a new monocoque body, 3000 size. So you could really throw that bait a long ways. You know, as far as the line, we were throwing a 10 pound Daiwa J braid. This is the grand chartreuse color. Uh, with a 10 pound die with J Floro Samurai. Awesome combination on there. Also, we threw two other crankbaits. We threw the ZR4. This is a Zurch, uh, you know, a shallower running crankbait from Evergreen as well. And one of my favorites, Evergreen Flat Force. Awesome, awesome crankbaits. Overall, we had a blast. Make sure you guys check out the last video and see all the action, jam packed. And of course, all the stuff you guys saw in the last video and right here is available at tacklewarehouse.com.